everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Would You Rather. Now I shouldn't need to explain it again, but again, horrible decisions. You live with them for the rest of your life and no one can ever, ever, ever redeem you for your terrible decisions. But in this case, it actually works out perfectly for me. Would you rather have a wardrobe completely out of flannel and plaid or have a wardrobe completely out of denim? I would of course pick the plaid and flannel because that's amazing. And oddly enough, my red flannel is in the laundry right now, so I can't wear it for this episode, but I would love to have an entire wardrobe of all different colors of plaid than possible. Would you rather get stung repeatedly by a Japanese hornet or be bitten once by a black widow spider? Okay, now if I remember, if I remember the Japanese hornet, when you get stung by it, it feels like getting shot with a bullet. Like as far as I remember, if I'm not, you know, if I'm not wrong about this, the Japanese hornet, it's gigantic. It has a venom which is injected by the 6.25 millimeter long stinger and attacks the nervous center system and damages tissues of victim. Oh my God. It's not the most lethal, but the potency of the sting is due to the relatively large amount injected. Being stung is extremely painful and can require hospitalization. Ugh. Can still be lethal to people who are not allergic provided the dose is sufficient. You would die. I gotta go with the Black Widow. Like, I can't believe I have to go with that, but the Black Widow is bad. There, there's also another thing that if it stings you or if it bites you, I can't remember, I think it's a sting. But if it stings you, it, in men, it'll give you unbelievably painful erections that can last for 10 hours and can rupture blood vessels. I will probably censor a lot of that just because it's horrible, but you guys know what I'm talking about. You guys know what I'm talking about. Would you rather be stupid and have a brilliant kid or be brilliant and have a stupid kid? I think I'd rather be stupid and have a brilliant kid because I could live with being dumb. I don't, I, I could make that choice. I don't want them to not have the choice of being brilliant or being stupid. So I gotta pull the Forrest Gump on this one. Would you rather have everyone talk to you like a two year old or in a sarcastic tone? Well, kind of everyone in my life already talks to me in a sarcastic tone, but I mean, if they're talking to me like a two year old, then you know, that's kind of nice. Who's your little Markiplier? I am! Who's your little Marky Moo there? I'm a Marky Moo! That sounds great, I'd go with that one. That sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> uh, big change up in my life. No way around death. Would you rather be president but then be impeached after three weeks, or have complete power over the world but then get killed after three weeks? Oh. Well, I mean... I could do so much more if I have complete power over the world because then I could set a lot of things in motion and then die. Then your president, presidents can't actually do all that much. I mean, nothing against presidents, whatever, not getting into politics, whatever, but in America, presidents don't actually do all that much. It's kind of in the Congress where the power is. So I'd rather have complete power over the world and then die. Really? People don't want to die. Um, imagine that, people don't want to die. If you were trapped in a cave with your pet, would you rather sacrifice your pet so you can eat, or sacrifice parts of your body so that you both can eat? Oh no. Oh no. How how dire is the situation? How how long, how long until we get rescued? Is there any possibility of us getting rescued? Is this like what what kind of cave are we talking about here? This is horrible. I don't want to make this choice, but I have to. If you both are eating, you eat twice as much. What if you get to the point where my legs and arms aren't enough, and then, you know, my dog eats me because it's hungry, but I can't fight it off because I sacrificed my arms and legs. Like, I'm not saying Chica would, but anything backed into a corner is very, very desperate, so. In a survival situation, in a survival situation, would you rather watch The Sandlot or watch The Goonies? Okay, people are probably gonna roast me about this one more than the last question. I have not seen either of these movies, so which movie should I watch? Down in the comments below, I'll take your suggestion. I have not seen either of these movies. I know the Grumps talk about The Goonies, but I've never even heard The Sandlot. I've, I've referenced The Sandlot before, I think. I've referenced both these movies, but I've never seen them, so which one should I pick? Eeny, meeny, miny, goonies. If your parents had to give you one punishment, would you rather live without your phone or live without your computer? I bought her clean clothes. I'd rather live without my phone. What the hell is that? I can do without my phone. It's not even a choice. Uh, would you rather listen to the Macarena for four hours straight or listen to Mambo number five for four hours straight? I gotta figure out what Mambo number five is. A little bit of... Oh 
god, that would be horrible. Oh man. But the Macarena is pretty annoying too. I guess I gotta go for Mambo number five because if you can keep the party going for four hours, then that's not actually that bad. If you walked into a room, would you rather have everyone stare at you in disgust like they do already or have everyone look away in disgust? Oh, come on, this is exactly what they do because first they stare and then they look away. Oh, it's just my life. If I could split it in half, I would be happy. Oh, everyone hates me. I don't know, I feel like it'd be really weird if everyone in a room just turned and went, oh. You, and then just stared at you. Are they staring at you the whole time? I mean, if they have to look away in disgust, are they not going to be able to look at the people they're with and never talk? Did, is it just a room full of silence and disgust? I. Is this every time I walk into a room that this happens, or do I get? This is just one room that I know about, and then I could back out of. I guess I'd have everyone look away because staring at me would be creepy. Yeah, that's bad. Would you rather fight Voldemort or fight Freddy Krueger? Well, if I'm fighting Voldemort, that means that I'm in a world of wizarding and magic, and that would mean that I had, at some point, gotten enough training in magic to fight Voldemort, unless I'm just going up fisticuffs like, Hey, Voldy! Get your bald head over here! I'm gonna smash it in! You know, that's how I'd do if I was up against him. But if you're fighting Freddy Krueger, that's horrible. I've seen the movies. That does not end well for anybody. And unless you're Jason, it still doesn't end well for anybody. So I gotta go with Voldemort because of the implication of the environment that you're in. I'm really thinking about this. Would you rather eat a quarter or eat chapstick? Chapstick might be poisonous. The quarter will go through. Sound, sound. What? Just because the chapstick might be flavored, it might also be poisonous. You don't think. A quarter's fine. One of the comments down there was, woohoo, I'm a slot machine. Uh, would you rather sing everything you say or dance all your movements? I'd rather sing everything I say. I hope I'm good, but I don't know. Maybe I'm not good. Well, I mean, I, I know I know what I am now, but you guys don't know that. I'd rather sing everything I say. That sounds fun. It'd be like that episode of Scrubs where uh, she heard everything in a musical. That would be awesome. Would you rather get paid to read every book or get paid to watch every TV show? There's a lot of books. There's a lot of books. Is this every TV show in every language? There's a lot of ups and downs to this. There's a lot of pluses and minus. I could see one or the other, but the thing is like every book that takes a lot of time and you gotta concentrate on the books. TV show you can do other stuff while you're doing it. You just sit Ooh. and you're getting paid to do either one. I don't know. I will leave this one to you guys. So let me know which one you would rather be paid to do. It's not just like a preference thing. There's other things about it because yeah, I like reading books, but I also like watching TV, but I mean reading books is a little more engaging, but also remember how much time it's going to be done. Like this isn't just your job. If you want to get paid more, obviously you'd read more. So maybe you could watch multiple TV shows at once and learn to multitask something like that. I don't know. It's up to you guys. Let me know. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I look forward to reading your comments down below. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Hey. <laughs> Where did you pop out of? Officially my favorite game. I, uh... I think I reached a new low in my career.